Greetings, everybody. I'm Stephanie Van Hook, and I'm the director of the Meta Center for Nonviolence. And I'd like you to hear about a new course that we're developing at the Meta Center and we'll be offering this summer. And we hope you can join us. So I'm here with Michael Negler, who is our professor, uh, our resident professor here at the Meta Center <laughs> and our founder. And he is the co-founder of the Peace and Conflict Studies program at UC Berkeley, author of The Search for a Nonviolent Future, The Nonviolence Handbook, and most recently, The Third Harmony, Nonviolence and the New Story of Human Nature, also a film by that name he has uh, directed, written, and helped to produce. So Michael's going to be our professor for this course this summer. It's called, Michael? It's called Nonviolence in Action. Mm -hmm. And it could be subtitled, Five Actions We Can All Take for a New Story. Gotcha. So uh, why? what are you going to go over in this course and, and what it makes it different than yeah. other courses out there being offered about nonviolence? Right. We're going to start by introducing people to our model, the roadmap. Mm. And the core, the, this course is really about that inner circle of the roadmap, which is where the five action steps occur. I would say the first three are about personal empowerment. Mm -hmm. And steps four and five are about putting our new capacity into action, mm -hmm. putting it into place. So step four would be in terms of our personal interactions, which we should not neglect the importance of. Mm -hmm. And step five is social. So we might call these five steps. First, uh, media literacy. That's kind of a clearing Mm -hmm. house. And then the second step is nonviolence literacy. We learn about nonviolence. The third step, which is very important, but also a very personal matter. So we will deal with it uh, delicately. And that's spiritual practice. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth step is how we relate. That is what, how to make our lives more personal and more humanized, mm -hmm. which really goes to the core of nonviolent change. And let's call the fifth one, uh, action for a nonviolent future. Well, I've had the opportunity to work with you for over 10 years uh, in the Whoa. capacity as a volunteer for the Meta Center and, and a friend and director mm -hmm. of the Meta Center. All true, all and true. You've been talking about this material for a very long time, so yeah. it keeps getting richer every mm -hmm. year and more urgent every year. Yeah. It's sort of seeing ahead you've seen ahead so far that studying this material with you has changed lives it's oh, given so. people a deeper sense of purpose in their lives yeah yeah and, i think that's true uh given people a very good basis for taking nonviolent yeah. action where they feel it's most needed too yeah. well it's certainly given me a, a sense of a deep sense of purpose in my life mm -hmm. and i guess what i would say stephanie about the evolution of the ideas that nothing has really radically changed, but they've gotten very well focused. Yeah. And you incorporate where the wisdom traditions yeah. meet the science of nonviolence. And that's one thing, one angle that's very unique about your yeah. approach as well, I've noticed. Yeah, I don't know that it's that unique. I'd like to think it is. But uh, other people have pointed out that these astounding breakthroughs in modern science dating from the discovery of quantum reality, which is about 120 years ago now, uh, lines up beautifully with what wisdom traditions have always been telling us mm -hmm. and, and which we really haven't had a scientific yeah. basis to listen, to take them seriously. And as my late friend Willis Harmon used to say, science is the knowledge validating system of our civilization. Sure. So things not scientific, even though people misuse science and disregard it. Mm -hmm. But basically, if something isn't scientific, serious people, thoughtful people will not take it for real. Mm -hmm. And I've recently realized, because we, we are still growing here, <laughs> that on the wisdom tradition part, mm -hmm. there are really two distinctly different kinds. There are the indigenous traditions mm -hmm. and what you might call, I don't know, the non-indigenous traditions, mm -hmm. you know, like. Uh, fully developed Hinduism, mm -hmm. Buddhism, mm -hmm. Christianity, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's really, we have this wonderful triangulation mm -hmm. on a brand new vision yeah. of reality and above all, a brand new vision of who we are. 
So the course will take place over five weeks. Right. And during each week, we mm -hmm. will have you do a recorded lecture that people okay. can watch anytime. Can do. And we will have you assign readings, different mm -hmm. listening to podcasts or videos, so materials in research during the week. Yeah. All that should take about two hours of time. And yeah. then we were saying we would meet on Saturday mornings mm -hmm. in Pacific time from 8.30 to 10.30. Okay. With the beginning of that being 30 minutes of group meditation over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a good, a very nice way to come together as taking a meta course mm -hmm. and doing meditation together, mm -hmm. getting your cup of tea and having a nice in-depth and life affirming conversation about nonviolent principles. So which of course Mahatma Gandhi called but he called nonviolence the greatest power that we've been endowed with. So in a way this is an exploration mm -hmm. of the truth of that declaration. Well we hope to see you there and hope thanks, to see you there. Thanks so much Michael. Cute Seth. <laughs>